So can a network switch be used in place of a router? Technically, in a way it can, but you probably don't want to unless you want to leave your entire home network potentially at risk. Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Home Network Geek, where we talk about everything home networking. A question I've seen bounced around quite a lot lately is whether you can use a network switch in place of a router. Just like a router, they connect to your modem using ethernet, but they also have many more individual ports that you can connect to your devices to. So do you really need a router or can you simply use a switch instead? In this video, we'll take a look at the different roles that a router, a switch and a modem play in a home network setup and how you definitely do want to be making use of a router instead of relying on just a switch. So what's the difference between a switch and a router? If you're new to networking, at first glance, they can look exactly the same. Although they can be used interchangeably, they actually perform very different functions on a network. A router will have multiple LAN ports and a single WAN port, whereas a switch will only have LAN ports that allow devices to connect to it using ethernet. The WAN port on the router is used solely to connect to the modem. Now switches don't have a WAN port, but it is possible to make use of one of the LAN ports to connect it to the modem. Now, although this type of setup is certainly possible, your regular ethernet cable simply won't cut it. You'll need to make use of what's called a crossover cable instead. So if you can physically connect a switch to a modem using ethernet, do you really need the router? The answer is yes, and there are several reasons as to why. One of the main reasons comes down to the number of IP addresses that your internet service provider will give you. You'll typically only receive one public IP address from your ISP, maybe two or three if you're very lucky. So what does this mean? Even when you have several devices connected to your switch and your switch is connected to the modem, only one of them will be able to access the internet at any given time. For all of the connected devices to access the internet at the same time, a router will be needed. You can think of the router itself being assigned the public IP address and it then assigns private IP addresses to each device from there. So what does the router do? In a home network setup, your router is needed to connect all of your devices to the LAN using either a wired or wireless connection. The router's main job is to route traffic from your device to your modem, which then allows them to access the internet. You can consider the router to be the hub for all of the devices on your network. They all connect to the router, which then itself connects to the modem. The other main purpose for having a router is actually around network security. It protects all of your devices and stops them from being left exposed out on the internet. Looking in at your network from the internet's point of view, it doesn't actually see all of your individual devices connected to it. Instead, it only sees the router. The router being in place controls all of the traffic that's flown between your devices and the internet, and therefore hides all of your individual devices, potentially from prying eyes. Network switches are standard in larger networks like you'd find in an office environment, but they can also be used in much smaller networks like you and I have at home. They provide a way for you to connect multiple devices together on a LAN without having to rely on Wi-Fi. As you probably already know, Wi-Fi isn't always the most reliable. Although we would only likely have one or two switches in our home networks, office environments could have dozens. Each floor in the office would have a dedicated switch to connect together all of the devices on that floor. But then each switch is connected with each other too. The end result is the device on one floor being able to communicate with a different device on a different floor. All of the switches would ultimately end up connecting back to the router and from there, the modem and the internet. So what part does the modem play in all this? The modem can be a device that bridges the gap between your home network and the wider internet. Even with a router in place, all of the devices connect to it won't be able to access the internet without the modem being there. The modem's job is to connect your network to your ISP and from there, the internet. It takes the signal from your ISP's network and converts it into a different signal that all of your devices can understand and use. And the same applies in the reverse. Where the modem is positioned in your home will be determined by the type of internet connection that you have. There are several different ones, so if you want to learn more about them, I've left a link to my article on homenetworkgeek.com in the description box below. Sometimes the router and the modem are completely separate pieces of hardware, but it's now much more common for them to be contained within a single unit. This hybrid approach can be referred to as the gateway and has been used by ISPs as a way of simplifying the setup process for you and I. Comparing a network switch with a router is a bit like comparing apples and oranges. You can't really do it. You can't compare them to determine which is best as they ultimately perform very different functions on your home network. As you now know, you should have a router in place connected to your modem 
and not try and use a network switch in its place. A better question to ask is whether you need a network switch in addition to your router rather than just having one or the other. Having a network switch in place is recommended if you have multiple devices that you want to connect to your network using Ethernet rather than relying on Wi-Fi. Although it's incredibly rare these days, there are still some devices that don't come with Wi-Fi built in so you've got no choice but to use Ethernet. If you have several older devices that work this way, you could find that the few Ethernet ports found on your back of your router simply isn't enough. Not to mention all of the smart home hubs that also require an Ethernet connection. I tried plugging some of mine into my own switch uh, instead of relying on the ports on the back of my router, but I found they simply didn't work. They absolutely had to have a direct connection to the router. Chuck a couple of these into the mix and you could find yourself running out of ports pretty fast. Personally, I would always recommend using a network switch, even if it only has, let's say, eight ports. This is just to give you a bit of breathing space in case you want to expand your network further in the future. Just remember, use a network switch in addition to your router and not to replace it. I'll leave links to some of my favorite network switches in the description box below, along with a link to my recommended gear page for lots of other networking hardware. I hope you found this video helpful and now have a better understanding of why you shouldn't be using a network switch in place of a router. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to keep up with everything home networking. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.